Hi, this is Dr. Aida Bashkir Martin. In this video, I will talk about the glands of the skin. Feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below at the end of this video. We will identify the sebaceous, eccrine, and apocrine glands on anatomical models and describe the characteristic of each glands and explain their function. And also we will differentiate between them and give an, at least one example about their clinical application. There are three different types of exocrine glands in our skin. Sebaceous gland, eccrine sweat gland, and apocrine sweat gland. Sebaceous gland does holocrine type of secretion. That means they release not only the product, uh, but entire cell substance because plasma membrane will be shattered and entire cell and the product will be released. They produce a lubricating oily substance called sebum, mostly into the hair follicles. They find all part of the body, but exception are the palms and soles. We, we don't have, normally we don't have any sebaceous gland on our palms and soles. Eccrine sweat gland, however, does merocrine type of secretion. That means they produce the sweat and they release the sweat by exocytosis only. There is no cell body part released except the production. They found out throughout the body but abundant on the palms, soles and face. They are responding to thermal regulation. They, they, they have a role on homeostasis of um, body heat. Uh, apocrine sweat gland, however, does the apocrine type of secretion. That means they release the, their product, their sweat uh, and products and pheromones that they produce uh, via exocytosis. At the same time, they release some part of the cells as well as the product. They produce thicker sweat by stimulation with pain, stress or during sexual intercourse. They found on the armpit and genital region, they have a local areas that they found it. They are not active until puberty. So they become active uh, when the puberty hits on. Sebaceous gland, they are acinar glands, produces lubricating oily substance called sebum, mostly into the hair follicles as we told before. The fatty acid of seb sebum uh, also have antibacterial properties and prevent water loss from the skin in low humidity environments. They find all part of the body except palms and soles. And when you look in this picture, you can see the seb sebaceous gland labeled with the uh, sticker uh, labeled with the C. So C uh, stickers is showing the the sebaceous gland, sebaceous gland, the product of the this gland called sebum. Trivia question: Which part of the body has the greatest number of sebaceous gland? The answer is face and scalp has the greatest number of sebaceous gland. They can number up to 400 to 900 glands per centimeter square on the face. There are sebaceous glands that not associated follicles uh, in the body with specific names. Uh, good examples when they found on the lips and mucosa of the cheek and on the genitalia we call them four side spots and glands on the eyelids which shown in this picture we call meibomium and glands and the, in the breast we call them montgomery glands in human fetus sebaceous gland produce waxy white coat of skin of newborn called vernix caseosa it serves to conserve heat and protect and moisturize the newborn skin from environmental stress and may provide lubricating during the childbirth again shown in this picture for your convenience 
After birth, activity of the sebaceous glands decreases and during ages 2 to 6 years, almost no activity and then increases to a peak of activity during puberty due to heightened level of levels of androgens. Eccrine sweat gland. Eccrine sweat glands are coiled merocrine glands. They lie deep in the dermis with the duct rising up to a pore on the skin surface. When we look in this uh, picture, I label the eccrine sweat gland uh, uh, with the number two and the sweat gland duct uh, number three and the opening we call pore of the sweat gland is number four. They produce hypotonic sweat, water rich with some salt, traces of waste, antibodies and antimicrobial peptide through exocytosis to response for temperature changes. Eccrine glands are a primary component of thermoregulation in humans and thus help to maintain homeostasis. These glands are found throughout all the skin but are especially abundant on the palms of the hand, soles of the feet and the forehead. Apocrine sweat gland labeled with number three. Do you remember number one? Sebaceous gland. Remember the number two? Eccrine sweat gland. Apocrine sweat glands usually associated with hair follicles in densely hairy areas such as armpits and genital regions. Apocrine sweat glands are larger than eccrine sweat glands with wider lumens comparing to eccrine sweat glands and they lie deeper in the dermis, sometimes even reaching the hypodermis with the duct normally emptying into the hair follicles. In addition to water and salts, apocrine sweat includes organic compounds that make the sweat thicker and subject to bacterial decomposition and subsequent body odor, we call the body odor, is a smell. The release of this sweat is under both nervous and hormonal control and plays a role in the poorly understood human pheromena, pheromone response. Acne is due to uh, hormonal changes Overstimulated stimulated glands start producing excessive sebum, sebum keratinocytes and bacteria clog off the hair follicle and causes acne. Medical name of common acne is the acne vulgaris and results from the infection by uh, a bacteria called propionibacterium. Uh, acne develops on the face and upper trunk and it most often affects the adolescence. Acne is the more common in males than the females. Recognition of the glands of the skin on histological slides. You, I showed here the sebaceous gland, um, eccrine sweat gland and apocrine sweat gland. Notice apocrine sweat gland has a um, simple cuboidal large lumen within the dermis of the skin. You see the lumen is larger comparing to eccrine sweat glands which they have stratified cuboidal uh, epithelium and they have the smaller lumen and sebaceous gland as you see directly related with the hair follicle test your knowledge which gland of the skin produce sebum answer is sebaceous gland vernix produce in Sebaceous gland. Where we can find the apocrine sweat glands on the body? Armpits, we call axillary region, and genital region. Identify the label structures on the model 1 to 2, and you can see the 1 is a sebaceous gland, 2 eccrine sweat gland, 3 sweat gland duct, and 4 the pore of the sweat gland. I hope you learned and you enjoy it and feel free to give me a feedback by clicking like button or leave a comment below. Thank you.